Uh, it's time we're going to go ahead and start with the pre-boarding process. This morning, countdown to bullseye at the nation's third busiest airport. Chicago O'Hare chock full of passengers. Determined to beat the winter storm, now taking aim at the Midwest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome on board. This is cruising altitude today is 34,000 feet. ORD, a critical hub for both American and United, with the biggest presence here. It's just been a really hectic day. Flights are delayed, few cancellations. Airport execs expect the busiest day will be Thursday, hours before the storm is hitting Chicago. We have a uh, 500 staff members who are ready to work 24 7 and 350 pieces of uh, snow removing equipment. In the United Ops Center here, they watch every flight to ensure it's fully crewed, catered, fueled, and on time. We got Charlie 26 here, and they're coming from what destination? And United is using a new computer program called Connection Saver, calculating how long they can hold a plane's departure for late connecting passengers without delaying the flight. I'm at Charlie 9. At gate C9, agents held the door for 18 passengers arriving late from Denver, hoping to make their Portland flight. Yeah. Were, were you running to get here in time? Uh, yeah, my heart rate's still flight. going. <laughs> Good news is you made it. So it's really assessing that risk of holding for that customer and not, not inconveniencing the rest of the folks on, on, the, uh, on the airplane. Hopper.com predicts the busiest days to depart will be this Thursday and Friday, just as the storm is rolling through the Midwest. The busiest return days, December 26th and January 2nd. Most travelers, 102 million in all, will be driving this holiday. Many are now just hours away from braving heavy snow or rain, windswept highways, and bitter temperatures as Mother Nature tries to upend this year's December getaway. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so if you are one of those people and you find that you need to rebook, guess what? The airlines right now are going to go ahead and drop the, the they're waiving rather the rebooking fees. Uh, they're trying to allow everybody to rebook to get out ahead of the storm. If you get caught, if your flight is canceled, the best advice, try to rebook yourself online on the app. Hopefully that allows you to jump ahead of the long line at the airport of people trying to talk to an agent. You guys? Tom Costello from an already very busy Chicago's O'Hare. Tom, thank you. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.